We are going through exercise 17D, and in this video, I'll be answering question 8A, which says, find the coordinates of the points on the curve y equals x squared plus minus 5x plus 6, at which the tangent makes an angle of 45 degrees with the positive direction of the x-axis. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, how on earth would I even approach a question like this? So let's just begin slowly. The first thing that I've done is drawn my curve. Here it is right here. The next thing that I'm going to do is consider the fact that I'm dealing with a tangent. Well, what is a tangent? A tangent is just a line that is going to touch this graph at one point. And the whole point of this question is to find what that point is going to be. It has to be a point at which that, uh, that makes my tangent make an angle of 45 degrees with the x-axis. So let's just begin by drawing a tangent in at just a random point. So let's do that now. Come over here. And I'm going to draw this tangent right here. Like this. So it's just touching my graph at one point, And I've just chosen a random point. We're going to have to alter this later to figure out what it's actually going to be. But just for now, I've just put it at a random point. Now, what needs to happen is the tangent has to be at a specific point that makes it make an angle of 45 degree degrees with the x-axis. So what that means is that this angle right here has to be 45 degrees. Now, hopefully you're thinking to yourself, I'm not used to thinking about tangents in terms of having their slope in degrees or angles, right? We're not used to thinking of slope in terms of angles. What are we used to thinking about? We're used to thinking of them in terms of gradient. So somehow we're going to have to change angle into gradient. That's what we're going to have to do. Well, what is gradient? Gradient isn't anything that complicated. It's simply rise over run. So in terms of this, this is my rise and this is my run now hopefully you can see something right now hopefully this looks familiar to you this is nothing more than a right angle triangle and if this is my degree well this means that this side will be my opposite and this will be my adjacent hopefully this is even looking even more familiar to you my opposite and my adjacent is my rise over run and if i have a degree here well, I can figure out what my rise and run is because it's simply tan. Tan of 45 is going to be my opposite over adjacent. And we know what tan of 45 is. It's simply 1. So this is really a blast from the past of when we were talking about circular functions and our unit circle. And I spoke about how tangent can be thought of as our gradient because it's simply the ratio of my uh, opposite over my adjacent. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully I've kind of proven to you that we've turned an angle into a gradient. So it's really just a gradient of one, which is fantastic now because we can deal with this. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come back to our question now. That was kind of like a big detour. We're going to take this and we're going to figure out dy dx. We're going to differentiate it. So it's going to be 2x minus 5. Now we're trying to figure out at what point this graph is going to have a gradient of 1. So what I'm going to do is set this equal to 1 and then solve it for x. So that means I'm going to get 2x equals 6 because I'm just plusing 5 to both sides. And then I'm going to go x is equal to 3 because I divided both sides by 2. So that means when x equals 3, when x equals 3, my tangent is going to make a 45 degree angle with the positive direction of my x-axis. And if you really wanted to graph it, you don't have to graph it. I've kind of just graphed it to kind of help you understand what's going on. This point right here is going to be 3, 0. It's going to be an intercept. So again, you don't need to know this. So that means that it should look something like this. That's where the point will lie. So when it does have a tangent at that point, 
Can I fix this slightly? Get rid of that. That right there is what it is. So you don't have to draw it. Hopefully that makes sense in your brain. So also notice it says find the coordinates of the point. So after you figure out that x equals three, what you'd have to do after that is sub that three back into this. So you're gonna get, all right, if this is three, you're gonna get y is equal to three squared minus five three plus six, which is gonna be nine minus 15 plus six, which is going to be the same thing as 15 minus 15, which equals zero. So therefore your coordinate is going to be three, zero. Perfect. Which just proves to you that when you graph it, it's going to be the X intercept. You don't need to graph it. You don't need to know what this looks like visually. All you need to know is how to get that number right there. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And uh, you have an understanding of what we've done. I will see you in the next video.